end of this tutorial, you will have something that looks like this. Hello everybody, Crypticoding here. Welcome to another game development video. So today we will be creating a RPG game in Godot Game Engine. I hope, hopefully, your my like voice is now okay. Okay. So now we what we'll do? We'll create a new node. So node 2D. Let's see, use node 2D, and we'll rename this node called World. And then we will add an a kinematic body to the to it with a collision shape and we'll add a box now how do i know this is a box because i will add a sprite node now if you don't know the structure of good old game engine make sure you watch the documentation and some basic knowledge now i have it oh, let's go right to player here and we'll click on sprite and when this texture comes we'll just drag and drop to it you got a texture now we'll click on this button right over here this right here you can lock it and then all this parent will be attached to this all this all the players children will be attached to this parent so you hopefully you guys understand now we'll create an 8 bit movement in Godot game engine so let's add this script to the our player so we'll click on the player oh god and we'll click on the player we'll go down we'll add a script so we'll click on new script now i will add a folder later on so you guys can check it, check it out so it's automatically called player.gd because our name here is player so we'll click, click on create so if you don't know the basics of good old game engine it's uh don't worry about it. I will teach you first of all. Let's look at some things what's known as variables now variables are data containers and Another thing really really important thing before you even watch this tutorial You need to have some experience a little bit knowledge of Python or strongly typed programming languages Like uh, Lua and things okay, so we'll click on create a variable called and uh, We'll have a variable called speed and we'll say speed and we'll set to uh, 100 now uh, we'll go down here and we I think it's all we need and we need another one which you know we need another one we'll call it a var motion and will equals to a vector 2 now what the heck is this now vector 2 is what's known as a val uh, a container with with which has x and a y coordinates for example this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate of the our vector 2 now in default it says 0 0 now if you've done any vector maths before it's in the middle of this and if you want to go up you plus it if you're going to go down you minus it now there is a, a full tutorial on vector 2 vector maths in official documentations and how they work etc make sure you watch those i will add the link in the description so now let's go now we have this too now uh, you will know why i need motion later on so say function and we'll write ready now there's uh, two types of built-in methods in Godot. Uh, actually there's more but for sake of this tutorial i'll say there's only two first one is ready and the second one is process now ready function will call when the game is ready to run okay when we start the game the ready function will run so now we, we will not do anything here we'll say set process two. now what it does or what it does it says that hey you you need to set the process it means start the uh like the game loop the main game loop okay start the game main loop. so we can just remove the pass here now what is the process function does it's the main game loop so what we are doing here we are telling the start method that start the game loop and our our game loop is here now what we're we gonna do in our game loop firstly we will check for inputs now what are those for example for example uh, a, when we hit or when we like 
hit a key press a key on the keyboard that's an input so if it's a D that's an input right so we will handle the, those and check for if this uh, if the player presses W key we want to move up and down left and right so how do you do that we'll do that using an if statement so again you need to have some experience on Python so we'll say if input is action pressed is action press is called when something is pressed now there is things as you can see there's a UI up down and things so UI up means the up arrow key so let, let me explain more about what is this and how it works so now let's go to our input map so we'll go to project I think project settings and input map over here now input map as you can see it says UI expect accept select cancel and focus next what we'll do we'll say we have chosen the wait we have chosen the up key so we can see up so up keys means that this is a key symbol up and then device zero button it means when we are attached with a controller we can add much more stuff you can add a button here key joy button joy access now this will be covered in next videos so uh, make sure you watch them okay so now whatever this is now you say you are down says key down right right left left and etc so it'll go there now if it's up we need to go up so how we will do that now make sure you have some knowledge about vector maths we'll go to motion and then y because we want to go up and down up and down is the y-axis now if you want to go up you think hey you will plus or minus now in game development when when we go upwards we usually minus it why the reason here you can think this thing is, is the gravity the more the gravity the more it's pushing towards the ground and the less the gravity this is uh, throwing um, our ourselves upwards so we'll say minus equals to and we'll write uh, speed now if we now we if we now run this it will do nothing why the reason here we said hey this is the vector but we didn't say specified that we need to use the motion vector to use to move so you can use for example a movement vector okay and you need to use you need to specify that which vector you are using for movement so we'll write move and slide move and slide motion now if everything is all right if we, if we save save this you should save the scene first so you'll say save the scene and now we have our, our tiny little game we'll, we'll say that and we just press this if we go up as you can see it goes up now there's two problems first of all it's super fast so let's see again so if we hit what and if we hit it once the thing will just keep on moving we don't want that we need we need to stop when we uh, release the key how we'll do that we'll see that so now let's go we'll write an else if so if we'll if we'll run first and then we'll run the else if so in ghetto we use elif statements elif means else if right input is action pressed UI down motion dot y plus equals to speed so remember them now and now what we'll do is another the left and right the left and right are same so if you want to go right you add that if you want to go left we decrease that so there will be in-depth vector math video okay in the future so you'll say fl input dot is action pressed you are you I left if it's then motion now don't use the Y because it's not up and down it's in the, uh, the left and right so it's left and right so it's in the X axis so now minus equals to speed and left input dot is action pressed UI right it right yes now there is there is one problem I use just pressed instead of pressed 
uh, just pressed triggers once, so you don't want that. So say so we'll do that, and we go to motion dot x plus equals to speed. Uh, now where's the problem? Oh, this one. So as you can see, that's how you do it. Now uh, it should work fine. Let's go. But if I go once, if you click on once, it will just keep on moving. We don't want that, right? So let's fix it. So if we hit these four arrow keys or the specific buttons, if we don't hit anything, what do you want to do? We want else. It means after all of the statements are configured, all of the statements are run, what we'll do is use this. Now, if if these things are dead and matched, for example, we didn't press the key, so it will run this. So we didn't press the up key, down key, left key, right key, it will not run it, okay? It will run that and then when we release that, we, we run this command. It will be simple, it's so simple. So if we run all of the stuff, after that run this. So if they, neither of these four are matched, neither of these four are matched, run this. Now we'll write motion y to zero. Why? We need to reset those values because we don't we want to stop, right? So we'll say save that thing and let's go play this. So if I go right, as you can see it's fast. We don't want that. Now there's two things I want to add to this uh, functionality. First of all, I want to edit this uh, speed value to the inspector. So if I click on the player, well, I should see a speed value. I can adjust it according to my need. How am I going to do that? So well, you will do that by clicking on the uh, the button here. This says that there is a script or they're going to the script panel. We'll add an export button. Now export button, this is optional by the way, export button also can take a value as a type of data type. So we will say integer. Now integer is what called on a whole number. So if you want a float number, you will write float. It means that we are a number with a decibel. We don't want that. So let's see, let's say we have export, then which type of data this is optional which type of data you want to export then is that a, is, is this a variable then the name and then the value now you can just just do like this and then save that and now what will happen is when you go here you'll click on the player we'll click on the player and as you can see this is a script variable now you can just adjust it to 200 another thing i want to do is add a smoothness to now doing this can be really difficult and can be really hard depending on your situation situation so for my case it's not that hard what i'm going to do is just add a delta to it now delta is delta is covered in some of my next videos it will be covered so don't worry about that but delta is the frame what they're doing is using the delta time, the time before that. So what's it in simple terms, it just smooths the movement. So we'll say copy that and the asteroid symbol, which is stands for, which we'll use to multiply things and boom. So let's copy this one up and paste it and paste it. So if we save that thing and let's run this and should be super oh my god that's that's actually like too much slow i don't want that let's add some more uh, let's say 500. oh i don't want like super cranky movement so it's a good but i want a little bit more higher let's say 1000 let's say what do we got let's see okay Another thing you can do is when you are moving the slide the motion we want to use the motion it's just simply it means the resetting the motion so don't worry about this line of code just just write it without with me 
and I, I will like, cover the next so I will cover the Delta and this line of code in the next videos okay so don't worry about that so write that and I should be thinking it's now it's now super nice we'll now go here now let's add much more speed here as you can see it's now a bit more fast so you can play around with those values so hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video peace